वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज मंसूर बारी विद दिस ट्यूटोरियल नंबर फोर ऑफ क्रिस्टल रिपोर्ट्स सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दी स्टेप्स अगेन व्हाट वी हैव डन सो फार इज दैट फर्स्ट वी क्रिएटेड एंड कॉन्फ़िगर अ डेटा सेट एंड देन वी एडिड अ ब्लैंक क्रिस्टल रिपोर्ट टू अवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी ऑल्सो बाउंड दैट क्रिस्टल रिपोर्ट विद दी डेटा सेट एंड आफ्टर दैट इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल नंबर थ्री Uh, we did some designing and formatting things in the crystal report and we will do some more designing and formatting later so this is tutorial number 4 and in this tutorial uh, we will just uh, perform a little task to add a form to the project and we will add a button and a crystal report viewer control on the form uh, so let's start with microsoft visual studio 2012 uh, our project uh, we were here last time so we will add a form just right click on your project and a web form and uh, the name of the form default okay so right click okay and a form a blank form will be added uh, i'm saying it's a blank form because you see there is a div starting and div ending and there is nothing between the uh, starting and ending and closing tags of the div uh, all right so i have to add a button here so there are two ways of doing this uh, number one uh, i can click here or uh, sorry the standard one uh, see there are there is a toolbox and there are some controls here and these controls are categorized into uh, some different categories due to their their operations like standard validation navigation login and reporting kind of things so for the button control i will go and select standard one so see there is a button here i will just uh, drag and drop it to the blank area of the page and see when i drop it here this line appears and it is it is saying that uh, this is a button and that uh, the id of the button the name of the button is button 1 and uh, it will run at server and the text of the button is button text means the caption uh, i'd like to change the caption just to write show and now come back to the see there is a design tab i'll click it and see the whole page is blank there is nothing just a show button and come back to the html source and see just uh, press enter here and uh, i want to add a crystal report viewer control so i will use the second way of doing this that i'll come back to the design view and uh, the cursor is blinking here whatever i drop will be dropped here so i'll go to the reporting category here and see there is a crystal report viewer control i'll just click it and if i double click it or if i just uh, click it and drag and drop it here so i just leave it here this is the crystal port viewer control and just leave these tasks uh, these configuration we will configure uh, this crystal port viewer control through our c sharp coding so come back to the source and see there is another line for crystal report crystal report viewer and the id of the crystal report viewer is crystal report viewer 1 and this id will be used in, in our c sharp code behind so and there is no uh, configuration uh, at all just a simple line we have added two controls this one and this one and we will be using these two controls uh, at the uh, uh, code behind in c sharp so uh, let me tell you that uh, there is another file when you expand it here see there is another file default.aspx.cs so this is the file where we will write our code so when i clicked it here you see uh, there is some code and uh, there is a event protected void for page load event which is fired when every time the page loads so we don't want to do anything when the page uh, the page lo uh, loaded so we will remove it just select it and just remove it and what i want 
I want here the button click event so uh, there are two ways of doing this so I'll tell you the important one that uh, this is the button and uh, just click it here and type on so you see there are some events here and I'll select this one on click and uh, just uh, an equal sign and you see there is an option to create a new event so I'll click it here and a button click event has been created for you so see uh, here the code file when I click it here you see that uh, the button click event is present here so in the uh, next tutorial which will be the last and final tutorial of this project what we will do is to uh, uh, write some code here in this area and that code will display our crystal report in browser so uh, thanks for watching students and I, I hope you like all my videos and uh, uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next tutorial number five